How's it going, everyone? This is Dalton at Dalton 95 coming at you with the PulseCon live stream video. Uh, mostly going to be talking about the Transformers stuff. Well, it's almost entirely Transformers and a couple of Marvel Legends figures I'm looking forward to. But here is the logo that they're going with, the kind of uh, sprue-type detail. Like, they just want to focus on how toys are made. And so they've got sprues and stuff all over the back. So, yeah, let's get right on into it. So to start things off, we've got Toy Galaxy Dan and Theo Adams presenting the convention, just giving more of a collector's and fan perspective while presenting this as opposed to just a couple of random people from last year. So here we've got BMAC, Mark, and Evan just opening up the Transformers segment and getting ready to talk about the 40th anniversary. You can see some of the sprues of Death Source back there. And here we go with the 40th anniversary logo, which looks pretty cool, a lot better in my opinion than the 30th anniversary during the Thrilling 30 event, so you've got that. And here is our first look at the poster for Legacy Year 3. We've got Thundertron and Prime at the bottom, and here's our possible big bad of Magmatron, so you can see a better look at him there. Some other characters flying in, and there's uh, Tiger Hawk, Windblade, and the United Legacy logo. And going into our first reveal, we have the Core Claws Energon Megatron shown off here. So this is the sample they have on the table, which it looks all right. I mean, it could be a little bit better, but kind of get an idea. So here is the actual, you know, uh, promotional images. And you can see he has detachable uh, cannons as well as the tank sword thing there. Very much like he should. And the jet mode looks fantastic. So very happy with how... He looks to be turning out there. I'm excited for them to do, end up doing Galvatron eventually. And here we have Tasmanian Kid, which, I mean, he turned out better than I thought. I thought he was going to be a retool of Rat Trap, but I'm very happy to see that he is a new mold. And I'm kind of hoping we see Bound Rogue and a like copy version, like the Copy Convoy. Beast Mode looks fantastic. Uh, very somewhat realistic, but not quite realistic. I don't know. And now we've got the Armorizer Infernicon. This is Boulder Crash. Little ro rock tricycle. Looks a little weird. And there's the, the packaging. Um, what's weird to me is that they're calling uh, the Beast Wars characters Beast Wars Universe when they've never done that before. But moving on to the Luxus, here we have Magnus, another Infernicon armor thing that turns into a weird little rock car. And moving on to Bumblebee, I mean, there's already been a bunch of discourse about this guy, but I, I think he looks good. I think they've done a pretty good job kind of capturing animated through a G1 lens, and I'm, I'm excited to get him, except for the fact he's got all that translucent plastic in the vehicle, which kind of bumps me out. And for Chase, I mean, he looks all right. Um, I've heard people saying that he could be locked down, but they did change or add removable weapons that you could switch like that claw and those other accessories here is windblade from cyberverse and the the model the sample that they had doesn't look as good as these images right here i forgot to get the actual promo image that they show but these are some in-hand pictures and i was pleasantly surprised by thundertron he looks better than i anticipated and he's still got the star seeker symbol there on the tail of his coat lion mode looks fantastic and Robot mode looks phenomenal. The foot can come off and become part of the sword, so you can still have the peg leg. And for animated Optimus, now I was initially on the fence about this guy, but seeing these pictures, I've gotten more attached, or more into how the design looks for this figure. Like, standing up straight here, he looks fantastic. I can't wait for Motormaster and to get, I mean, this guy in hand. What's weird, though, is is that Mark said he wanted to hide those little front wheels because they are just for stability, but if you wanted to hide them, why not mold them in the same color as the bumper? I just find it a little weird. Other than that, he looks good. Tiger Hawk just absolutely blew me away. I, I'm super excited for this. I know a friend of mine got a little irritated when they said he's a Fusor when he's a Transmetal 2, but yeah, the Tiger mode looks fantastic. Robot mode looks absolutely stunning. And I, I can't wait for the inevitable uh, Razor Claw universe repaint of this guy. But, I mean, just look how good that lion or tiger man looks. Now, Hasbro did mention that they're changing the box style, which kind of bummed me out. No more Windless leaders. But talking about Magmatron here, uh, he's going to be the commander class, according to the listings found by JT Prime. So, kind of bummed that he's going to be the t commander when this is going to be the Titan. Uh, 
I'm fine with it. I mean, I, I guess we'll see how it works with the Armada Megatron, hopefully to do the cartoon deco. And for Hotshot, he is a see it now, buy it now for today, starting at 4 p.m. Eastern time for uh, premium members or 5 p.m. for regular viewers. So if you haven't gotten it yet, please get them. For the human member of the Hall of Fame this year, they inducted Takeo Ijima, one of the Takara designers that has been with the brand for 35 years. For Toy of the Year, we got Armada Legacy Prime, which I, I called it. Like, I knew it was going to be Toy of the Year. It was so good. For Character of the Year is Skybite, everyone's favorite crazy haiku-speaking shark from Transformers Robots in Disguise or Gel Shark from Car Robots. So they did hint at Hasla for next year. One of the things they said was Omega level, and a lot of people thought Omega Prime, but from what I remember, they said they will never do a Optimus Prime as a HasLab, so who knows. Another possibility is Devastator, since he is a rival of Omega Supreme. I could see it happening, but again, not too sure. One thing I would love to see is our animated Omega Supreme, because there's so much you could do with him, with all the different faces, with the... Megatron face, the Starscream face, all the weapons and everything he has, Ratchet and RC as stretch goals. But again, who knows for sure what's going to happen. So now moving on to Marvel Legends, we've got the maskless uh, Tobey Maguire Spider-Man from No Way Home, which I'm excited. I got to get all three of these. Uh, there's also the Amazing Spider-Man 2, Andrew Garfield version of Spider-Man. So Again, got to get him along with Tommy McGuire and the final suit version of Spider-Man from No Way Home. So this is, again, Tom Holland in that final suit design from the end of the movie. So that's exciting to see. And they've also announced that they've got Matt Murdock, Sandman, and MJ. They're going to be doing them on these blister cards, and those go up for pre-order today as well, at the same time as all the Transformer stuff does. And for next week, we've got Green Goblin from No Way Home. Will Willem Dafoe finally getting this figure. I'm super excited about it, and I I've got to get it. So, yeah, very excited to see Green Goblin coming into Marvel Legends, as well as Doc Ock for the movie. Now, I'm not sure if this is Spider-Man 2 or No Way Home. It very much looks more like Spider-Man 2. Face isn't quite Alfred Molina, but it is a very close likeness. Either way, I'm super excited to get this, and, yeah, it goes up for next week. So yeah, there was lots of exciting stuff this year at PulseCon, including, you know, mostly including Transformers. Uh, there was some other stuff that I didn't really care for, is like Star Wars and uh, Avalon Hill, Dungeons and Dragons, all that stuff. But yeah, I'm super excited to see what comes out of Legacy United this year. So let's hope it turns out pretty good. Like uh, a lot of the stuff that went up today for pre-order, I'm going to go ahead and pre-order. I'm not sure I'm going to keep all of it like the the rock guys or whatever so i'm not sure if i'll be keeping those pre-orders but i will at least pre-order them and you know decide later on if i truly want to keep those right now i'm i'm on the fence but i'll pre-order them this in case they sell out that way if i do decide to keep them they're still there so who knows for sure like i said a lot of interesting stuff more interested in the animated stuff as well as the beast wars and of course Energon Megatron, uh, and of course I got to get Hotshot today. So if you haven't, please get that Hotshot pre-ordered. If you're after it, it's gonna go quick, especially with people wanting Jolt. So it should be up by the time I'm done recording this. Uh, for premium members, by the time this is up, it'll probably be available for non-premium members. Let's hope they have enough for both. That being said, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll catch you all in the next video.